Welcome to this Getting Started and Dependency Injection Fundamentals tutorial on Spring Framework. I am Sanjay Patel. I have about 20 years of software development experience and you can know more about me at my blog naturalprogrammer.com. In this tutorial, first we are going to see how to create a new Spring application and then we are going to write some hello world stuff and then we are going to dive into the fundamentals of dependency injection features of the Spring Framework using a Java and annotation based configuration. Dependency injection in Spring Framework is very vast and a common developer needs to be readily knowing only a handful of commonly useful features. What we are going to cover in this tutorial is that handful of useful things to get you started developing real world applications. Later, when you need, you can refer to Spring documentation for the uncommon features. That said, let me tell you that we are going to cover the key features useful in real world development like Spring profiles, application properties, etc. which are important for real world development but I have not seen those covered in many other tutorials. Also, as a bonus, I am going to show you how simple it has become to send SMTP mails after the release of Spring Boot 1.2. I would highly recommend this tutorial to you if you are new to Spring Framework and are planning to learn it. This should be your first step. I would also highly recommend this tutorial to you if you are an existing Spring 3 developer but are new to Spring 4 or to Java configuration. This is going to be the right beginning for you. The only prerequisite for this course is that you should be knowing Java to be able to follow this course. Knowledge of web development will help because in some examples we have used a bit of Spring MVC but is not mandatory. We are going to do some hands-on in most of the lectures and you can find the links to the source code in the second lecture which is a PDF. So all the best and happy learning.